I'm Fox 13 News anchor Bob Evans. Today is the 55th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. It was a huge milestone for manned spaceflight. In September of 1962, President John F. Kennedy issued the challenge to put a man on the moon and bring him home safely before 1970. And that's exactly what happened. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. It was a huge challenge, and there was no playbook. They were plowing new ground. Mark Tobias is a chief engineer at Northrop Grumman in Promontory, Utah, where they build rocket motors. They couldn't have performed better. And so to me, what I see is just awe and um, respect for that generation of folks that was able to accomplish that mission. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. They understood the capabilities that they had and the limitations associated with them. And they didn't sweat the small stuff. They prioritized where that capability needed to be placed, um, where it was most important, um, where it meant the most mission success. And, and, they, and they made really good risk calls uh, in utilizing that capability. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar now. How did they know they could do it? I'm not sure that they knew that they could, um, but I don't think they let that get in their way. I think they said, we have a directive uh, from the president. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. We have a mandate because from the American people. This is in the national interest of our country, and they put their head down and, and started coloring. All of that coloring saw new discoveries, the development of new technologies, and new inventions. One, zero. The sense of purpose that uh, that, that generation on Apollo felt, uh, that sense of purpose still exists today. Tobias is currently working on the transition from steel rocket booster casings that were used in the shuttle missions to composite casings, which are lighter and have more powerful propellant. And so we're currently um, getting ready to do the first, what we call static test or ground test of that new booster um, early next year. There were a total of six Apollo missions that landed on the moon. No human has stepped foot there since 1972. Now there is an ambitious effort to go to Mars. But it was the manned space flights of the Apollo program, and Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins who showed we could reach distant bodies in space. It was huge. I mean, it, it, it proved to the world that something that had been the domain of comic books and science fiction movies uh, could become a reality. Um, and that if you can do something that only existed in people's imagination and you made it a reality that, that almost anything is possible. 